Stop wasting time. Stop wasting time. That's what we'll be dealing with today. The Bible says in Ephesians 5, 15 through 16, Therefore, be careful how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of your time, because the days are evil. And what we're dealing with today is wasting time. Stop it. Get up out of your seat, out of that bed, off of that couch, and move. Do something. What have you been pondering on to do? What has the Holy Spirit been unctioning for you to do? What is your assignment in the earth? Has God revealed to you what you're supposed to be doing? The people he's called you to? What in your past that he has delivered you from to testify to others to help others to come out of? What is it? What is it? I know you often lift, listen to motivational speakers, inspirational speakers, your pastor, your grandmama, your granddaddy, the neighbor next door, <laughs> the man down the street, the girl down the street, giving you advice, speaking wisdom into you that oxygen, giving you uplifting in your spirit, your spirit man. But your flesh, your human side, keeps fighting what needs to come forth. Hmm. What can you do to come up out of being stagnant, being stuck, being lonely, being depressed, being oppressed, being struck down? In your spirit, what is it you can do? I'm hoping that this message today helps you where you are. Helps you get out of the rut you're in. All you have to do, this mind up here. See, people often want to say, it's a... You're able to come out of a rut without God. Without God. No, you, no, 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 no. With God, all things are possible. You say, stop quoting scriptures. No, scriptures saved my life. Scriptures made me whole. Scriptures are the bread of life. Coming from God. Because I... Begin to read the word of God and saw myself being transformed in the renewing of my mind and reading over and over, communicating to God. See, we often think in prayer is just about asking God, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? No, God is our friend. God is our friend. Say it with me. God is my friend. And you know how you talk to your friend. You have a conversation with your friend. You tell your friend, look, this is how I feel. This is what I'm going through. You're not asking for anything. You're just pouring your heart out. God, I just, that's what prayer is. Pouring heart out to God through Jesus Christ. Lord, I feel a heaviness in my spirit and I'm trying to get out of this rut, but it seems like I just can't do it. And after you just pour out of your heart, 
Begin to listen for God's response. Listen to the Holy Spirit and telling you what you should do because it's time out wasting time. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting time. Because it is already November. Just last week, it was November 1st. It was November, November 1st. And it's a week later already. Days are going by fast. Why? Because God is trying to get us to move. Stop blaming others. Stop focusing on others and what they post, what they say, when they say it, how they say it. Focus on what God wants you to do. You've been knowing for a while. And some of you, you might say, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Get still. Turn the TV off. Stop watching all this TV. When I say TV, I'm talking about TV programs. Netflix, Hulu, Prime, all that, all that. Stop watching all of that. Look, look, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm through watching that. that. I'm going to get still so I can hear the voice of God telling me what it is. I'm just pouring out to God what you need to do. You say, I want to I wanna be a millionaire. I want to be debt free. I want to be rich. I want to help others. And God said, just get still so I can tell you what you need to do. And when he tells you, move on it. Don't waste no time. Don't keep talking about it. Don't keep questioning about it. Don't go to nobody asking, do you, do you think that this is what God called me to do? Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't ask nobody but God. God, is this really what you want me to do? And you're going to hear God say, yes, this is, this, this, what, because your voice, yours, your hands, yours is going to help somebody else. I hope y'all have a blessed evening, but you may be getting this in the morning. So have a blessed morning, have a blessed day and be Bless. Drop down in the comments, please. Ask me a question, and I'm here to answer with the Holy Spirit guiding me with the answer. Amen.